My name is uh, Adam Barnby. I'm the founder and CEO of Eve. Um, tell you what, go on to that. I'm also father of three young children, and my mission in life is to make the world a much better place for them to grow up in. Um, I'm not going to make any apologies because I've got some notes today because I'm also the founder and CEO and father of three young children, so I haven't really had time to practice this very much. Eve is a mobility OEM, specifically formed to challenge and tackle the choices of the past by understanding our customers and their operational needs for the future. Spe specifically focused on the last mile, an extremely large and growing market sector in the need of some elegantly simple decarbonization solutions. We believe in radical innovation to cater for the ever-expanding city population and its needs, focusing on the design and transport solutions for the urban environment. We don't believe in the electrification of, vehicle, of, of legacy vehicles. In order to set cities free, our core DNA fo focuses on lightweight, truly zero emission, safe and efficient engineering principles that our entire brand is built upon. Working with other brands to develop the right product to, for current and emerging markets. Our approach is simple. Imagine a clean sheet of paper. Would you draw a car or a van that you know today for the urban environment? I don't believe we would. Eve has zero legacy thinking, and our transport products work, enabling a change away from legacy operation through fresh thinking and design engineering. Eve is a company that was spawned from my first company, BAMD. We're a composites company servicing motorsports, medical, aerospace, and we've cross-pollinated BAM's relentless speed of innovation into EVE, and this gives us our rapid motorsport development mentality. Through a common project, we found ourselves talking to execs at DPD UK, where we understood that they trialed a number of e-cargo bikes, uh, and all of them had failed as an option for implementing into their fleet. We drafted a design brief with them and went from initial concept approval to the first 15 V1 e-cargo bikes in less than six months. These are still in operation across Europe three years later. Fast forward to today, we've been fortunate enough to be directly plugged into our customers' problems, and by fundamentally understanding what they need and why they need it, we've created an entire ecosystem of transport solutions in response to this knowledge. Our first production model to market uh, which you can see there is the EVE 2 cubed. It's an e-cargo bike. It's an easily adopted, safe, because it's got four wheels, unobtrusive, publicly friendly, widely accepted, highly efficient vehicle that complies with e-bike legislation. And ultimately, we've bridged the gap between van and bike, replacing, directly replacing vans. Among other e-cargo bike uh, platform developments, we're also developing the Lynx. Now, Lynx is an L7 category modular skateboard platform designed and engineered to enable a more dynamic and consolidated supply chain to the last mile, thus making the last mile more efficient. The Lynx removes the, needs, the need and the, independent, the dependence upon expensive inner-city real estate. We categorize this as a mid-mile vehicle. It can operate as a dynamic hub-and-spoke model in conjunction with our row-row cargo pods. It can also just be a modular van, but with a very simple yet game-changing design feature, such as utilizing our standardized EVE energy modules that all operate our entire fleet of vehicles. These are easily swappable 48 volt batteries that maximize uptime and remove the operationally crippling long charge times that current electric uh, commercial vehicles uh, have and therefore are difficult to adopt. So why is EVE investable? We've built, delivered and serviced over 150 vehicles, well over 150 vehicles now, across the UK, Europe, US and further afield. We've worked hard to build an extremely strong sales pipeline, and our production ramp-up is in full swing. We have a strategic partnership with a very large automotive OEM, and EVE is the only complete transport solution company with a proven ability to deliver. And I want to finish on EVE is real. We have real customers, real revenue. We've had to come overcome real problems and challenges scaling over the last three years, as you can imagine. And we're enabling real change, and most importantly, we have a real future. Thank you very much. Adam Bambi from me. All right, three minutes. Panelists, shoot. Uh, I can start. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just one quick question about the. Um, it seems like the first product uh, and the links, the next generation is quite different, right? You're looking at one yeah. side that's really like EV. This one's more like a cargo cargo bike. Um, how do you think about that in terms of you know being a company that's like you know developing very different products and how does that kind of work long term? Um, I mean, first and foremost, it doesn't scare me to develop multiple products at the same time. Um, ultimately, what we're trying to do is create further adoption of these uh, lightweight electric vehicles. The issue with the last mile is you can't get the product to the last mile. So we're on a number of different um, projects with a lot of our customers who are using river, rail, uh, different modes of transport to get into the city center. Once you're in the city center, these work. You don't have to do anything else different to that. But getting to the city center with consolidated parcels is why the last mile is so expensive. It's over 50% of the cost of the total delivery. So hence the reason for developing something, a need for the market. Uh, so question, what's the uh, business model, how you think about it? Is it pure sales like you've probably done with DPD? And uh, second was any numbers you could share in terms of how much this will cost in the future for the, for the customer, how price competitive it's going to be? Yeah. So at the moment, we operate a, a, a pure sales model. We have a finance option as well. Um, with the current vehicle that we build, it's currently too expensive as a bomb cost to go into a subscription model. The next version that we're developing will be purely based on the subscription model, and we'll have uh, technology within the vehicle that then um, protects or, or um, yeah, protects our, uh, our residual value at the end of the term. So different versions of vehicle will go through different subscription-based models. Thank you. Um, can you explain a little bit um, about the materials of which the back part is yeah. built of? Thanks. So my, my background is in composites. Uh, I'm a designer. So what I wanted to do was make a, a non-hypocritical vehicle. Um, the materials that we use are very recyclable. The bodywork is made out of a natural flax uh, composite with a bioresin. So um, yeah, I, I didn't want to just create something that was going to cost the earth over and over again. So the sort of circular economy of the vehicle as well has been baked into the design. Uh, 